Texas has seen a boom in its growth in recent years. In 2022, it became the second state in the country to pass 30 million in population, with only California having a greater population. In fact, between 2000 and 2022, 11 of Texas's 254 counties more than doubled. The entire state gained over 9 million people, and in 2022 alone, the population increased by over 470,000. Yet, despite cities like Austin, San Antonio, and El Paso seeing tremendous amounts of growth, there are some places in Texas that, well, simply aren't that desirable to live in. Today on Across the Globe, we're going to be looking at the top 10 worst places to live in Texas. Before we dive in, a quick note that there are many factors to take into consideration when looking at the pros and cons of a place, so this is not meant to be comprehensive. And of course, in the end, you're entitled to your own opinion. Number 1. Hidalgo, Texas Did you know that the national poverty rate is 11.6%? While that already seems pretty high, it's nothing compared to the poverty rate in Hidalgo County, which is a whopping 28.8%. That's right, nearly one in three people live in poverty here. Unfortunately, many of these people are children. While that's reason enough to stay away from Hidalgo, if you have kids, you'll really want to stay away because Hidalgo County has one of the worst school districts in the entire country, Monte Alto School District. According to USA Today, the district only has the resources to spend about $11,000 annually per student as of 2020. Number 2. Lubbock We've covered Lubbock before when we looked at some of the cheapest places to live in Texas. However, Lubbock's affordability might not make it worth living there considering this city's high crime rate. Buckle up because we've got a lot of stats to share with you. For starters, Lubbock has a violent crime rate of 2.23 per 1,000 people and is considered 121% more dangerous than the U.S. average. Between 2021 and 2022, Lubbock's crime rate increased 10%, and between 2019 and 2020, it saw a 182% increase in homicides, according to data from Property Club. As if that's not bad enough, your chances of becoming a victim of a violent crime or property crime if you live here are a whopping 1 in 16. But if somehow crime doesn't matter that much to you, there are some other reasons to avoid Lubbock as well. For instance, because it lies at the edge of the Great Plains, it's susceptible to extreme weather like dust storms, tornadoes, and torrential rain. It's been ranked as one of the worst cities in the country to retire, according to WalletHub. Oh, and it's also been named the most boring city in America. Number 3. Brownsville, Texas Across much of the country, low housing inventory is a huge issue. For instance, a March report from Realtor found that there was a shortage of 6.5 million homes between single-family home construction and household formations between 2012 and 2022. While that's not great news if you're looking to buy, it is good news for homeowners as high demand means it's generally not been much of an issue to sell a home. Unless you live in Brownsville, that is. In fact, Go Banking Rates listed this city as being one of the hardest places to sell a home in the entire country, making it one of the worst housing markets as a result. For instance, the median list price in Brownsville in 2022 was about $263,000, yet the median sale price was only $223,000, a $40,000 loss. In addition, the percentage of listings with price cuts was also high at 12.57%. Number 4. Laredo, Texas Laredo came up as one of the worst places to live in Texas for several reasons. For starters, in 2022, it was ranked one of the worst cities in the country for singles. In 2019, it was listed as one of the worst cities to raise a family, and in 2017, Laredo was considered one of the worst places for those looking to lead an active lifestyle. 
As if that's not bad enough, more recently, Laredo was ranked one of the worst cities in the entire country for those working remote, and clearly the worst city in Texas for that. Number 5. Arlington, Texas In 2021, Arlington was ranked one of the worst cities in the U.S. to retire, according to WalletHub. And based on our research, it doesn't seem like things have gotten much better since then. In this study, WalletHub placed Arlington well in the bottom half at 166 out of 182 cities. It ranked cities according to metrics including affordability, activities, quality of life, and healthcare. Arlington was ranked particularly low in terms of activities. Even if you're not a retiree, you may want to avoid Arlington for other reasons. For instance, according to Move.org, it was recently named one of the worst cities for minimum wage earners in the entire country. Number 6. Prairie View With a population of a little less than 7,000, Prairie View can almost fly under the radar, undetected. But when you start looking at this town's stats, it begins to stick out a bit more. And unfortunately, not for good reasons. According to data from the U.S. Census, 53.5% of people here live in poverty. You heard that right, over half. In fact, the median household income is only $17,000. Yes, $17,000. And the per capita income is only a little over $7,000. And despite being home to A&M University and being within commuting distance to Houston, this city has struggled with unemployment, with recent data showing the unemployment rate to be as high as 12.1%. Number seven. Dallas-Fort Worth You might be surprised to find the Dallas-Fort Worth area on this list. After all, there are definitely some great things about Dallas. But it's on here because, to be honest, it's expensive. And for many people, that can make it a terrible option if they're thinking of relocating to an affordable Texas town or city. In fact, Dallas is one of the most expensive places to live in all of Texas. For instance, the average cost of living in the U.S. is 100 and Dallas scored a 99.35, just barely less. Yes, I know what you're thinking. That's still less than the national average. You're right, it is. However, Texas as a whole is significantly less than the national average, so Dallas being right about average makes it extremely expensive by Texas standards. Number 8. Del Rio, Texas Del Rio has some good things going for it, but if you're someone who likes mild weather or having four seasons, this is not the place for you. In fact, for anyone who considers themselves to be a lover of great weather, you're going to find Del Rio one of the worst places to live in Texas, and that's because it's actually considered to have some of the worst weather in America. In the summer, the average high is 97.1 degrees, with only three other cities in the entire U.S. having hotter weather than that. Number 9. Beaumont, Texas Beaumont is located about 90 miles east of Houston and about 30 miles from the Gulf of Mexico, making it a pretty solid location overall. But that's not enough to offset the fact that this city is considered one of the most dangerous cities in Texas, making it a pretty undesirable place to live. For instance, the violent crime rate as of 2022 was 2.5 per 1,000 people, making it 93% higher than the national average. And this city's violent crime has been on the rise in recent years, increasing by 12% between 2019 and 2022 alone, according to Property Club. Number 10. McAllen, Texas A study from Oxfam America recently found that Texas is one of the worst states for employees ranked 48th out of 50. In fact, it ranked poorly in all three categories that the organization used to determine this. Worker protections, wages, and organizing rights. Now, 
While this extends to all of Texas, it particularly applies to McAllen. Money Geek recently named it one of the worst places in the country to look for a job right now because of its high unemployment rate, which in 2021 was 12.6%. This rate has come down since 2021, but it's still higher than the national average. In addition to Money Geek's assessment, U.S. News also ranked it one of the worst places for job seekers, with a score of 3.7 out of 10 for its job market, with 10 being the best. What about the reasons why everyone's moving to Texas? Watch this video to see our list.